Hey, what's that? Let's take a look. It's time for a closer upper. Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? You know, in the game room, we have actually had a few comments on some of our nice pinup art pieces. As you can see, they are themed to various consoles and controllers. These lovely pieces of art are done by Muse Tap Studios. We first found these wonderful pieces of art when we went to VisionCon down in Branson a couple of years ago, and then we were able to see them again at BransonCon. Muse Tap Studios is digital artists Will Woods and Tyreen Carver. Now they make art of all, yes, all geeky fandoms. Interesting fact, not only are they partners in crime, they're partners in everything else. <laughs> okay guys, let's take a closer upper. For starters, I do want to note that it's very cool that with these pinup pieces, it's not just girls because you have some nice male models. She did say that all of the handhelds are the male figures and all of the females are the controllers. Which comes into play with a very interesting piece in just a moment. Starting off with the DS. Now, I'm pretty sure that you wanted this just for the color scheme alone. I did. I really love blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors, and I really liked his, like, ice blue hair. It was really kind of neat looking. And it's really cool that he's packing that stylus around as if it's his uh, weapon of choice. He's also packing some abs. Whoa. Without a doubt, this has got to be my favorite one. I was so going to say, I was pretty sure this was the very first one you ever drawn to, and it might have started with the red hair, but ended other places. Of course, I like how she looks. I do like that red hair, but I really like the attention to detail with Atari, with all of the separated dots going around her bodysuit, but then also the way that she's posing with the Atari joystick. Just everything about it. This is the quintessential pinup gaming piece to me. Miss Dreamcast was a lot of fun, and can you believe she's already 20? I really liked this one because I'm a big fan of colored lipstick, so I love the fact that she had blue lipstick on, her hair was like super fun and pigtail-y, and she's got eye makeup to match that lovely blue lipstick. And on the back, she has that window mesh piece in her bodysuit that, of course, shows off the VMU component to the Dreamcast controller. I do also like how they've continued the button color scheme onto her jumpsuit. The start button does appear to be on her posterior. Press start to play. But something else that I really also liked about her hair is they followed the blue Dreamcast swirl logo with her blue hair and it is making a big swirl. Ooh, that's a nice touch. I don't think I ever noticed that before. This was a very cool piece. As Lacey mentioned before, the controllers were typically female and the handhelds were male. So what do you have with the Switch? You've got the controller and a handheld. This is probably my favorite one just because there are so many elements added together. If you look at their eyes, one eye is red or orange, one eye is blue. Same thing with their hair. It's kind of hard to tell on the female, but if you look really close where she's kind of looking off to the side, there is the orange hair. And they got the puppy dog in there. That's pretty cute. Here we have the Wii U. Not only does she have all of the fantastic buttons all over her bodysuit, down on the cuffs of her boots, look up there at the top of the suit. That's one of the things that I really liked about this one is that she does have the window on her chest so that you can see the whole Miiverse. And once again, we've got the fun colored eye makeup and lipstick, so fell in love with the blue hair. I've got a thing for blue hair, I think. Now, of course, we've got to get some Microsoft love, some Xbox love in here. And I have to say that green color scheme is done so well here. And you've got the wonderful green lipstick and she's got green eye makeup and actual green eyes. This is why I went with this one is because I liked her hair and makeup. Now this is a very clever one. So it is the Game Gear, and this is a portable system that typically doesn't have a lot of color on the system itself. 
However, right above the logo for Game Gear, you do have that red, green, and blue. And that was put to good use over the whole bodysuit. Yeah, you really do get the blues, the greens, and the reds in there. Even on his face, he's got a red and green stripe, but then the hair caps off that blue. They managed to do a really good job of getting that color right in there. And uh, again, look at those abs. So this one is kind of uh, cheating a little bit since it's not a game console or handheld, but we did have to pick up their awesome Portal Companion Cube Girl. She's really super cute and fun and flirty. She's got pink lipstick, pink eyes, pink hair. So they really put that pink to good use. She's just cute and fun. So we decided to go for her. And she's got hearts everywhere. Now, in no way, shape, or form are we done getting uh, prints from these people. We love these prints and we plan to have them all over the game room because they're not done and we aren't done and there's a ton more that we haven't got. Something that we've taken to do since we don't have a whole lot of wall space is we have a lot of prints that we keep in a portfolio folder. That way, they're safe, they're protected, and anytime we want to swap them out, it's super easy to do. It's also a good thing to take with you to the cons because then it keeps your prints safe from getting bent or damaged. Whenever we've had the pleasure of talking to Will and Tyreen of MuseTap Studios, they've always been incredibly nice, easy to talk to, both in person and online. Of course, I'm going to leave links in the description below so you can check out all of their art and whenever they have commissions open, please feel free to hit them up. And as always, like the video if you happen to like it, leave some comments down below on what you think of any of this art, or if you go and check their stuff out, come back and let us know what you found there that you like. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for those closer upper pictures so that you can see us out and about in the real world and to know when a new video has dropped and go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. And if we like it, we nerd it. Hi everyone, this is Tyrene from Musetap Studios here at FranceCon 2019. Uh, we have, as you see, hordes and hordes of artwork. So come and visit us online at musetapstudios.com. At VisionCon, when we... Okay, ready? <laughs> That's how I get it out. We saw them again at Branson Con down in Branson. <laughs> That's not redundant. Branson, Branson, Branson.